What are we rushing towards? It's literally flaxy gel. Like, am I gonna bust my ass? Today I woke up for some reason. I just wanted to put on a little bit of makeup and feel good about myself. I typically don't wear makeup when I'm home, when I'm working from home, like bare face. But today I was like, you know what? Let me put on some tinted moisturizer and feel pretty. I was thinking a lot about routines and like the new year and the energy of the new year. And I know a lot of people are still talking about like new year's resolutions and goals and 2024 reset and getting back on track and that type of thing typically around this time of year i don't know from my experience you guys let me know in the comments if you've had a different experience i feel like every new year there's this rush to hit the ground running and i always 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 have to remind myself that i don't have to hit the ground running i can go at my own pace there is no need to rush through i don't even know what it is like what are we rushing towards like really truly you know what i mean so if you're easing into the new year like i am don't worry about it we're still adulting and trying to get our shit together over here which is totally fine because that's life i'm realizing now that i need to have a better not realizing right now i've always known this but i need to be stricter with my nighttime routine because i want to and i've said this so many times but i really 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 want to get back to my 5 a.m morning routine and i've been slowly making my way there there are times i wake up at 5 or i wake up at 5 15 or i wake up at 6 but 5 a.m. I think is a sweet spot for me somewhere between 5 and 5 30 because my morning routine is so important to me and I realize that when I don't do it or if, if I feel rushed in my mornings I just don't have a good day and I know I have control of my day and mindset and I can turn it around and all of that stuff but feeling rushed in the morning is something that I absolutely hate I hate feeling rushed and I don't like feeling like I don't have time. So 5 a.m. works for me. And I think that the days that I work from home, like I did today, wake up at five, do my morning pages, do my gratitude, go to the gym. I know I can come back home at like 7.30, 8, maybe even 8.30 and still have time to shower and get ready for the day and not feel like I'm rushing to sign into work or something like that. My preference is to have at least 45 minutes to myself before I have to actually do that and the days that I go into the office still get up at five Do my morning pages do my gratitude, but work out from home. I need my time in the morning It's so important. Like I just get so anxious during the day if I feel like I haven't done everything and so I think that's what I'm gonna do I know I'm not the only one that's struggling with routines right now so if you are let me know what you're doing to help you but i think that finding a harmony between working out from home and working out in the gym is probably going to help me and then just getting to bed earlier like i want to wind down at like 8 39 be in bed between 9 30 and 10 if i can because you know sometimes things happen and we have no control over it so that's what i want to do that's my goal i just wanted to chat about that real quickly because like I said, I know that there's been so many conversations about like the new year and getting back on track and how do you set goals and all that stuff. And I, you know, I did my vision board end of December. I took the time to really think about the goals that I want to accomplish this year and how I'm going to do that and what systems I need in place to accomplish that. And I think my nighttime routine and my morning routine are really going to be helpful. I also think I need to be firmer with my boundaries and... I need to get back to saying no without guilt and honoring myself. I have to, have to, have to, I have to do that because I kind of, I kind of was a little bit loose with that and I suffer, my own commitment suffer and my own goals suffer and we can't have that. So honor my routines, honor my boundaries and say no more. I'm just trying to like give myself some peace of mind and clarity and I'm babbling like a lot today obviously i'm super chatty this morning i got a package that i was not expecting here it is and i was thinking we can just i was gonna say unbox it together but i don't think they put this in a box i think they kind of just threw it in a bag and they looked exactly like a very popular slipper that is sold by ugg that i refuse to spend that much money on because i think that's absolutely ridiculous and I thought these were like a pretty good dupe. So they came in this bag. Let's see how I like them. Oh, there's a little box in here. Oh, they sent earrings. Well, that's cute. And this is what the earrings look like. This is what they look like. In case you guys didn't know what the Ugg ones were. I, at first I wasn't sure what I thought about like the platforms. Their reviews were really good. And a lot of people said that they were way more comfortable than the actual Ugg slippers. It was only $22 and it's super cold here in New York. So I figured why not? Here they are. 
actually the platform doesn't feel that bad like they don't feel like they're too high i was worried that like am i gonna bust my ass they feel super cozy they have the lining all throughout i will link these for you in the description box if you're interested i think they're so freaking part cute part of resetting for the new year also involves cleaning up my space so i finally had to tackle that pile of clothes that i had on my desk chair which i'm trying to be better at i folded everything up and then moved over to my wardrobe unit to just put things away put things on hangers fold everything that i just had pretty messy and i'm just trying to be better at this every single week so that i start off my monday super fresh once I was done with my clothes then I moved on to my jewelry organizer I keep rings up here and kind of like my prettier fancier earrings the second tier is bracelets and necklaces I mean obviously if you were to get this you could organize it any way that you want but it is felt and I liked um, the color of it and then earrings or like chunkier rings that I can't put it the first one we're gonna show you that it makes it so easy when i'm getting ready in the morning because a lot of these things were put away in like these type of little bags and again out of sight out of mind you kind of like forget what you have so i'm going to put some of the things that i have in here away and then this one i also bought myself a new self love ring and it's so cute I got it off of Etsy. It's super cute and dainty and just very, very simple. I hadn't bought myself a perfume in a really long time. So this was more expensive than I thought it would be. I actually did a whole TikTok about it. Um, but yeah, I do like the bottle. I like the shape and I like the color. So these up. And then this one can go. This is the one that I custom made at Olfactory. This one I think I got from like Marshalls or... TJ, I think, over the summer. I like this for the summer. This was in our gift bag for the SAG Awards, so I will always keep this. This is more like summer spring to me. This up from Walmart. Comes with a bunch of different brushes. And then the attachments go here. I'm trying to think which one to use for the kitchen floor. I thought that this would be really good to like obviously clean the floors, but also to clean like the kitchen floors, but also to clean the bathroom floors. Also the wall, because it's hard to like reach sometimes when I'm doing it. So I feel like all these different like brush heads, it's good to do the floor with, but especially this one, like you get into the corner of things. Like, first one is very strong, like it spins very fast. And then the second one, when you hit it again, is a little bit slower. So you like it even with the purpose? Yeah. yeah. I just attempted to strain the black seed. And I did it first in like a metal strainer and that wasn't working. So then what I did was I decided to just use my produce bag and squeeze it out from here. And I didn't vlog it because it was unexpectedly messy. Like I just got it everywhere. And there's still a couple of flax seeds in there, but I'm gonna try this as a face gel, face gel as a face mask today, but this is basically what the consistency looks like. And I also think for tomorrow when I do my hair, I'm gonna put this on my hair. I'm gonna clean up and then put this on my face. Here's the gel. Got that one little dude right there. I'm gonna put it as a mask on my face, I got my mask brush. Oh my God, this is so cold. I think they said like 15 to 20 minutes with this. You wanna try it with me, honey? Why not? Nope. <laughs> Whenever I ask him to try things, he's like, nope. Did you Google that? Is that safe? I'm like, dude, relax. It's fucking flax seeds. <laughs> it's literally flax seed gel, like flax seed and water. I'm gonna keep these both on for 15 minutes. The things we do for beauty.